Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video we are doing my September update on my mini marathon challenge. Now I will say right off the bat with this one I didn't do an update on this project in August because I had like zero progress in August and you know the months just got away from me so I decided to skip the update for August and you know just jump straight to September you know because we did that we do actually have some really decent progress on a lot of these products uh, we're rolling out quite a number of products and it's been a success so I'm going to start off with a product that I've already got rid of the first one was my um, face mask it was the Peter Thomas Roth mini of the thermal Hungarian face mask I did manage to use that one up so that one is already <laughs> been mentioned in an empties and decluttered because I totally forgot that I included it in this project but that one is done and dusted by beauty lip pencil in pomegranate um, once again this little guy is giving me some trouble it's still got a fairly it's got a fairly <laughs> decent amount of product still to go on this one um, I'm gonna keep this one in the product I'm gonna keep this one in the project and we'll keep powering through you know we'll get there eventually uh, Urban Decay Perversion Mascara I'm gonna leave this in for I think another month and then we'll see what the formula is like at the end of next month my NARS larger than life long wear eye pencil in Viva Veneto now I've used a fairly decent amount of this but it still isn't finished so let me just wind it up and I'll show you how much I have left of it we'll get there eventually so this is how much we have left so you know it's a fairly decent amount but I think if I actually focused on it I could probably easily get this one done um, before the end of the year but I actually have to you know pull my finger out and use it next is my Tarte lip gloss and I you know, I'm slowly but surely getting through this one. I did take the stopper out of this one today. So I think that now I will be able to get through it very quickly. When I look down the tube there, you know, there's a little bit of build up at the bottom there. But I think I can, you know, I think I can realistically get through this one. Um, maybe... Maybe not by the next update, but I think the one after that, it will definitely be done. And then the last update I have for you is from my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the color Copper. And oh, this little guy is holding on for dear life. It is driving me bananas. Um, can you guys see that tiny, tiny little bit on the top there? Uh, it just keeps holding on for dear life. It is still not finished. I still have the tiniest little amount of this. I have been using this so much to try and get it done, but it is just, it's just hanging in there. It is hanging in there and it is driving me bananas. I think I can definitely have this one done by the next update. And all of the rest of the products are um, used up items, which I'm very proud of myself. The first one is the Makeup Forever Step One Mattifying Primer. I did manage to get this one done and dusted. Didn't like this primer. I'm really happy that I have it out of my collection. Then I got through the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Base. Uh, this was a little um, pot of the, it's like a moisturizing primer. I really enjoyed the smell of this one, but you know, I don't think it's worth it for the price of the full size. Then I got through my NARS lip pencil and this one was in, I can't remember the color. <laughs> I can't remember the color because the color, the name of the color is printed on the pencil and I've sharpened the pencil. Um, I want to say it was like something del, del Toro or something like that. I cannot remember, but it was like this, you know, kind of pinky corally color and I managed to get this one done. I did get through this one pretty quickly. It only took me a month to get through with like fairly consistent use. And last but not least, I am so proud that I have this one done. There's still a little bit on the sides of the tube, but I just cannot get it out. This is my Fenty Gloss Bomb in the color Fussy. I don't know whether you can see there, but it is completely bone dry. I am, 
I'm actually like, I'm really proud of myself that I got through this one, but I'm a little bit sad that it's finished because I really, really enjoy this lip gloss. And I'm sad that I'm not going to be applying this every day now because I have other lip glosses that I actually need to focus on and use at the moment like my Tarte one and I have another full size lip gloss in another project at the moment so the gloss bombs are going on the back burner for a little while which is really sad because they're really good lip glosses. I have five roll outs and I am only rolling in three I believe maybe I'm rolling in three lip products and hear me out I am rolling in three lip products because um, I've decided that because we're getting so close to the end of the year, I've kind of picked out items in my collection that I am really keen on getting used up before the end of the year. And I've decided to kind of just all, roll all of them into projects now to like give me variety, um, give me the best chance of using them up because I know that they are in the projects and I'm just going to like, you know, grab for all of them. So that's why I'm rolling three lip products in. They're all minis and I do believe touch wood that I can get these finished before the end of the year. So I'm rolling in two of the Bare Minerals lipsticks. One is in the color Love and one in Kitty. And then I am rolling in the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Discanso, Discanso, Discanso. Um, so they are all nudes. I've already started using these a little bit um, this past week. You know, I've been playing around with my lip products uh, to pick which ones I want to roll in. And then also these ones I have been using a little bit as well because I, you know, I ran out of the lip products that I had on hand for my work lipstick. So these are both kind of, this one here especially is kind of too uh, pale for me for my liking so I've rolled both of these in together to mix them together and wear them as my daily lipstick and I think that I could potentially get these ones done pretty quickly. The aim is before the end of the year but if I could get them done before that maybe <laughs> roll in another new lipstick to finish before the end of the year that would be fantastic but these are the ones that I'm determined to have done before the end of the year. That means I'm only going to have eight products in this project at the moment, but I think I think I might leave it at that for this the remainder of this month at least. We'll see how we go with these products. You know, if I'm powering through the lip products, I might roll in another couple, but I just want to, you know, not overwhelm myself, but also be ambitious. You know, I've got to find a you know a nice little even ground. You can only wear so much lipstick at a time. So that's my update on my mini marathon challenge. Let me know down in the comments box how you're going on your project pan endeavors. If you're trying to pan any lip products, I know a lot of people are, you know, really struggling to pan lip products at the moment because, you know, what mask wearing or working from home. If you are in that position, maybe you could potentially focus on lip balms or something alternative um, instead of using lipsticks or use lip glosses as lip balms, something like that. Just another way of using up your lip products so they don't go bad. If you are still here and you haven't already, do all the good things down below, like, subscribe, comment, you join my membership and you can also applaud this video if you like. That's it for this video everyone. I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic day. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye beautiful.